to the latest episode of Hot Comics. The Hot Comics. <laughs> I'm uh, Sandra Vasquez. <laughs> and I'm Brandi Unger. We are so excited to bring you David Perdue. And not uh, that Not David, that David, David Perdue. Perdue. The this good is one. a delightful David Perdue that yeah. you are just going to you love. Eat, we, eat him up. We love him. We're, he's our best friend now. Yeah, he, I mean, it's solidified. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're done. We have best friends. Yeah. Uh, so enjoy, enjoy our new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Hot Comics. Hi, David. Hi. Um, so we're very excited. We're very you brought excited. us a very, very hot. Hot and there. topical. And, and also low key cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> you win it. Yeah, it's very hot, but also yeah. incredibly cold. Or room cold. temperature. We don't, don't know, know, right? We don't know. I mean, at this point, probably room temperature. At this point, yeah. she's yeah. definitely cold. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if she has an AC. She, no one's ever honestly, died like this before. <laughs> So we don't probably know. cold. She's probably in a refrigerator. They had her yeah. out in the, in, the, in oh, pre- yeah. Sure. Okay, so I who is like she? She is the queen. Ooh. God did not save her. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so much British hate. Somebody's gonna come to a show and throw beans at me. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a good time in the next few months. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So watch out for that. So how do you feel? How do you feel about mm-hmm. the queen passing? I. It's a big deal. I'm an empathetic person. I don't mm-hmm. want to see anybody pass. You know, but that's yeah. that's gonna happen. You reach a certain age, it's yeah. like yeah. you got nothing left to do. Yeah, old. She's she was ninety seven. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Older Point than ninety. Is. That's yeah. old. After you hit ninety, you just you just playing. You don't get. Yeah. It's like you, you have a ball. Who yeah. knows what your next day is? You don't have nothing to promise. You're just having fun. You're just yeah. waiting to die anyway. You yeah, hundred percent. So I mean, she she was ninety. She there was no one else to knight. Like, you know what I mean? There's yeah. no one in line, and no one. I didn't want to. If you're gonna get knighted, you're gonna get knighted by like the the a younger queen. She can't even lift the sword at this point <laughs> to knight people. So it was like, it's time. Yeah. You know, and her son, he's not even gonna get to be king long. Dude, seventy three. Yeah, he's with the biggest fingers in the world. He has king? gout for sure. <laughs> Have you seen his fingers? Yeah, they're they're, they're disgusting. They're they're, weird. I, they're, they're like Vienna sausages. Karma. They're small little sausage fingers yeah. with a little ring on it that's clearly cutting off his circulation. Dude, but talk about a long game from his wife. I'm yeah, sorry, Camilla. Yeah. From is the it side worth chick it? to Was the queen concert? I mean, she's queen now. She is, but we don't like her. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to be a liked queen or king. Yeah. 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 And I he, could see that. He, yeah. don't, he, he didn't bring the likability to like, it. like, that's this thing. I can't get the image out because he's been prince for ever mm-hmm. yeah, i can't yes. so all i'm thinking about is just like this is his time to like get up from the kids table like <laughs> i feel like every every royal dinner he couldn't sit with like the other like real like adults you know so he's like all right kids i'm leaving and then like no prince Charles, you know whatever and then he got up and he was just like i'm king now or trust me as such you know and then he like finally I, am i i don't know how britain works in my mind he's just like hey, and here's your top hat and here's your crap you know like there i don't i don't so. know i don't know how it works in my head i'm like in Envisioning the Lion King, where he's like, I just can't wait to be king. And yeah. it's just like Simba, just yeah. like coming on up, and he's yeah. here now. But Simba's old as hell now. <laughs> like, Simba's you know what I mean? Decrepit. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, Simba, yeah. everybody, like, I don't know if you should be king. We got actually a younger guy here who's probably going to be able to lead this pride a little bit better than you. Yeah, we have a couple better options. Yeah. A couple better options. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. My, I, my, impre- like, my, when I thought I saw all that, he was like, oh, boo hoo, boo hoo, wee, wee. <laughs> Look at me. Give me the crown. <laughs> like it just yes. that how quickly it happened. Yeah. I don't remember my sister. There's no such thing as a bad British accent. They're <laughs> no. all great. Wow. Yeah. They're all fun to listen Maybe to. Maybe not yeah. to British people, but no, like I, I love them all. Yeah. yeah. I'm a fan yeah. of I'm a fan of actual British uh accents from real Brits, mm-hmm. but also if, if somebody else wants to throw one out there, yeah. do oh my, it. I'm a them. fan of people in America who are like clearly like connected to the you know what I mean? Like yeah. if you talk to somebody from Baltimore, you're like, Oh, that's that's how they used to sound a little bit, right? Like you could like I can mm-hmm. see the I can see yeah. the resemblance. There's a, there's a tie there somewhere. Yeah, I love yeah. the old ties to the, the yeah. to the to the crown. So I will say though, my mm. mom has a tendency to mirror accents, yeah. even if oh. it's not real. She does it unconsciously. I okay. think it's an incurable disease. Yeah. Disorder. It's a disorder. Huh. She it's has. a personality disorder. She and has. she will do everyone's accent, yeah. even when she's watching the TV. So like when the news came on about mm-hmm. the queen dying, I was on the phone with her. She was, oh my, I mean, I can't even do a British accent yeah. right now, but she started speaking she's in a British, in British accent. accent. And I was like, she's like, oh my God. Listen. It, friendy. <laughs> I cannot believe that the Queen Mum has died. Queen like mom. I was could, like, could you imagine? You're from Lakeland, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, Brandy. 
have some respect. <laughs> have some respect for, for your elders. Fallen. <laughs> for your <laughs> elders. I used to try to do, when I was a kid, I think I tried to trick my aunt who used to travel that she won British Sky Miles. And so I called and I was just like, you've just won thousand miles from British Airways and she's like oh my god and I was like nah and all I was doing was like uh Pinky's accent from Pinky and the like it wasn't good oh my so, god yeah god. I was just yeah. doing Pinky like I used to do with Jimmy Cracks Corn and no one cares <laughs> why does he keep doing it like I just would practice that for hours until I felt like I could trick my aunt and like that was not hell good. yeah but I feel like I have a decent accent y'all had Damon on here yeah. Damon Sumner. Have you ever? You should have asked him to do an accent. All of his accents are Jamaican accents. We were like, Damon, do a British accent. It's Jamaican. <laughs> Damon, do a Russian accent. It's Jamaican. Oh my God. So like, your mom is so much better than Damon. I promise you. I guess yes, she has diversity. Oh when we were yeah. in Jamaica, yeah, she, she a white Jewish woman tried to, did a Jamaican accent, and you know what? What was, fun. <laughs> What fun. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Like, Why not? It's like, then she put on some dreads. Anyway, so yeah. then that, what happened? That we, we don't talk about that time. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah We burned yeah. all those Weird. pictures. She yeah. followed Adele. She, Adele did that. Remember? <laughs> We'd never forget. Never, I never, never, never forget. forget. Yeah. Never forgive either. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, but no, it's it, the passing of a grandparent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Older, it's older it's something that we all have to go through. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, is there, how, how about, how does your family do, deal with that? We, grandparents passing? No. So in the past few years, I lost my grandfather who was 96 oh, and wow. then my grandmother who was 91 and i talk about on stage like they they did everything like i you know and mm-hmm. i i in a very sincere moment i felt fine fine with the passing because yeah. they were like my, especially my granddad that was my like my best friend like we were mm-hmm. cool so it was like yeah it was sad but i was like i feel like when people pass people get like cry a lot because it's like oh what could have been mm-hmm. yeah. and i'm like nah me and this dude used to talk about everything like too much to yeah. Us, yeah you know what i mean like right. he would forget i was his grandson i was mm-hmm. like hey man these aren't kids like i you you saw me being born you can't talk to me this way i don't care about your mistress you know what i mean like, yeah regret <laughs> um regret screams and cries louder mm. than love I, mm-hmm. ooh, is that on a mug uh no a nurse told me that once when Even my dad better. passed ooh. away okay yeah. that's good it's yeah. really good nurses be knowing they know nurses they see knowing. some shit yeah, yeah they're but, around a lot of death yeah yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so your grandfather was like your your best friend. So how oh, yeah. how exactly. did these like funerals ha- go so, down? So <laughs> uh, I tell a story about uh, not even the funeral. My granddad passed. I was I, like I just talk about like the last thing I ever said to him. like you know people. Yeah, the, yeah. Last, the last thing I ever said to my granddad. So you have to get full context, right? Me and him, you literally used to talk about everything. Like he would call my brother, oh, and they God. would talk about baseball. Yeah, he would call my sister, and they talk about whatever. Mm-hmm. He would talk to me about like nurses. Or like women that he Hell saw, yeah. like yeah. he would be like, "Yo, yeah. like one of the, the bits I used to have, like he was to go like to Walmart to like look at the big legged girls, like that was something <laughs> that he would say. Like he would say stuff to me like, "Oh, I'm outside butt naked," and I'm like, "Granddad, you live next to a school, you gonna go to jail, <laughs> but also why are you butt naked?" He would be like, "Swear he would go, oh, sometimes." You gotta let the sun hit your worm, is what he told me. Oh my god! So that's our relationship. My brother's like, yeah, he didn't talk to me like that, and I was like, I know, I'm the one that has to get this. I'm just sharing this information. So, <laughs> the, the t- he's he's. I remember he was he was he was. They had just told him he was gonna be off solid foods, mm. and he's a proud like stubborn dude, right? And so I knew when they told him that, I was like, he's about to go soon because he yeah. grew up on meat. Like he's, yeah, he's not like, playing. I'm he out. hunted. Yeah, I was like, my man got about two three days, right? He's checking out the hotel. So yeah, they yeah. called my aunt was taking care of him. They called. I was with my mom, my brother, and they called our house, and they were like, hey, like, just talk to him. And I can hear him in the background, like, kind of, like, writhing in pain. Mm-hmm. And just kind of, like, and it was very unsettling, but I was like, so they get a phone to my brother, and my brother's like, hey, Granite, you know, how about the Braves? You're talking about baseball or whatever. Mm-hmm. Talking to my sister, and they're, like, having a moment. And they give me the phone, and <laughs> I hear him writhing in pain. And the last words I ever said to my granddad were, I told you to stop picking up them big-legged girls. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and I, I was like, that's just how we talk. And then my, my mom was looking at me like, what did you just do? <laughs> and, I, and but in, in my and I could hear him not moan in that yeah. moment. And I was just like, this is how we talk. I don't know what y'all thought this was, but like that's how me and my man's talked. Yeah. But I think about the whole time, I was like, I didn't get to say I love you. Which but th- I did in a, you in did. a way. That was I think that, you know, <laughs> yeah because that was our joke yeah. that was our he would he would say i was like we used to talk like that so yeah. he was just like i feel like he was like all right you got me one last yeah. time and yeah. i was like cool. we understand each we other understanding. Yeah. yeah so i try to encourage people to like talk like be so cool with people and like deep and like, have deep connections with people that you're able to just say yeah. wild things and people yeah. look at you like you're crazy but you know you're not crazy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I love that so much yeah. <laughs> and your grandma 
My grandmother, um, she passed, and that was we, we knew she was, but you I were went close with her too. Though. Obviously, yeah, but yeah. she lived in a mm-hmm. she lived in a different state, so I didn't get to uh-huh. see her a lot as mm-hmm. as often. I remember we went to her ninetieth birthday party. Uh, in March of 2020. Turn up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Literally weeks before the, everything, well, everything shut, shut down. down. Like she maybe got it a in. week, right? But it was like a big party, like this big event. Yeah. And like all these people came and then we get back home and I'm like, we're shutting the world down because there's this virus that's floating around. And I'm like, oh, it's going, I'm fr-. and it was like a hot spot in Detroit. Like we were in the hot spot. Yeah, yeah, I was like, well, I'm going to die and I'm going <laughs> to, my grandma's also going to die from this, but she didn't die from COVID. She yeah. died because she was getting old and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, no, I had to go to her funeral, and that's not fun. But, like, more not fun is, like, a wake. You've ever been to yeah. a wake? I'm, Jews don't do wakes. I want to convert right now. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, it's too expensive. Yeah, well. I- <laughs> first, first of all, that's facts. That's, I imagine. We, but- I, we bury I people in 24 hours because yeah. it's too expensive to hold them. Listen, now is it Brazilians expensive? Do that too. It's 24 hours? Quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we're just like, why? We just want to eat. We waited too long. How long? We wait. I, I don't remember, but I was like, enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the, the fact that you're just saying that, yeah. Yeah, but more so, like, I'm done. No wakes. It, no. He's, I, somebody told me the origins of a wake. What is it? Where, like, back in the day, like, way, you know, hundreds of years ago, science was so bad that you just left bodies out in case the person woke back up. Stop. So I was just like, I think we know now. I think we don't have That's to why do this. That's called awake. Yeah. Just in case they wake. In case they wake. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And I'm like, this is silly. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we, 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 we got good medicine in science now. We know when people are dead, we I, got so many machines you can plug them into. Once the little thing doesn't so go beep, 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 it's like they dead. Yeah. You know? And so I'm at my grandmother's <laughs> wake and it's, it's a, it's a, I'm crying. I'm like, I'm doing like the, ah, nah. like I'm doing that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like when you see a man go, ah, ah, I just know he is fighting the greatest demons of his life, and those demons are his tear ducts. He don't want nobody to see him cry. And I'm, ah, ah, I'm doing, I'm doing it like tough, right? And my aunt's with me, and I'm looking at my grandma, and she's, you know, and my, and I, <laughs> my grandma says the the thing because people don't know how to talk to people when they're, yeah, we try, hard. yeah, we all try it. But my my aunt goes, <laughs> she goes, Dave. Look at her, Dave. Trying to be healthy, but look at her, Dave. She goes, "Don't she look good?" I'm like, "No, <laughs> no. This is, if I'm being honest, this is the worst she's ever looked. This is not. No one looks good there. We have to stop saying that. We have to stop saying that, right?" And so I'm looking at my grandma, and I'm because I'm upset and I'm crying, and like yeah. these people I don't know are talking to me, and all this stuff is going on. And then the thing that really made me mad though is like my grandma was a beautiful old church lady. She had a they put her in a church lady hat, church mm-hmm. lady pearls, church lady, you know, head to yeah. toe. But I was like, I was with my aunt and I was like, why, why y'all got prescription glasses on my grandma? <laughs> oh my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> like, those are her Sudoku glasses. Why y'all put them? <laughs> she ain't playing them on Sudoku. Like, this it, you know? Like, and I'm frustrated. <laughs> when you you know, comics, we like think of everything. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. we're observing everything and everybody else is like crying and have these emotions. But I'm like, but why these glasses, right? <laughs> but but please explain these glasses. She can't see. Yeah, but my aunt and her, she grew up in the church That's as well. She she looked, rubbed me in the back. She says, "Well, baby, she got to be able to see Jesus when she get to heaven." And I'm like, "I'm not three, first of all. <laughs> but secondly, I've been to church. That's not how that work. That's not how that work. I've been to church. I yeah. grew up in the church. They say when you go to heaven, you're supposed to get a new body and new eyes and new everything. So all yeah. I could think about is my grandma can't see Jesus." Cause she got the wrong prescription on. She gang, you know what I'm saying? I'm upset. I'm did upset. They, did they bury her in all this clothes? Yeah, 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 yeah. in style. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she 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 went down to style. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've she never was. been to fun. I've never been to a funeral I, other yeah. than Jewish funerals, and we they bury you in the cheap. I'm telling you, the cheapest things possible really? just like a white sheet and a pine box oh no very different you go black. out the same way you came in no, poor ve- very different in the black that might be most black men that might be the most expensive thing you ever wore <laughs> is that i i remember when my uncle passed years ago what? i remember going suit shopping for my uncle yeah at, and it was like they was like oh this is i don't know it was like a couple hundred like a nice suit like a real to nice buried in? yeah and i remember thinking like well my man he because he was stylish so they was like we ain't gonna let you go out like that and so they, but I, I like remember thinking sentiment. like, but sure. I remember thinking, I ain't never seen him in a suit like that. This is cool. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? This is the coolest <laughs> suit. Can I one. also get one? Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was like, I was like 20 something. Like, this is, this is, this is nice. Like, I, I think know. nice gators. Like, yeah. he went out very, wow. yeah, yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Damn. Very, it's, very, uh, very flashy. So in 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 these occasions, do you have like your cousins and extended family? Anybody Ooh. like comes up out of the woodwork or <laughs> yeah. anything like that when you have these family gatherings? Yeah. So um, families are. I mean, I can't speak for all black people, but I feel like when we meet <laughs> a lot of people, <laughs> they'll be like, "Oh, that's your cousin." And I remember at my at grandma's house. Well, I'm, we're all, I'm in the house and like, I see people get excited about this guy yeah. who pulls up at the house and I'm like, everybody's like, oh my God, he's here. And I'm like, who is he? Like, I've never met this person in my life. And my aunt's like, oh, that's your cousin. Right. Latinos are like that too. Okay, cool. So, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, okay. And then it's like, oh, it's a primo or like, oh, that's your tia. And I'm yeah. like, is that? I don't know. I've never yeah. met this one. Yeah. Do they do it where it's like also like, also like a pop quiz? Like you supposed to know? They make me feel bad about yeah, it. Yeah. They're like, yeah. oh, you don't know. And I, so I go, I thought I knew all my cousins. I asked my aunt, I was like, why don't I, why have I never seen him before? And then what she said next was like, let, should have let me know something was up. Yeah. Her question was, well, how old are you? Which is like, what, what does that mean here? Uh-huh. Like, that's yeah. a weird yeah. thing. And I was like, I'm 34. What does that have to do with anything? And she goes, well, that particular cousin has actually been in prison the last 34 years. <laughs> <laughs> And I was just ding, like, ding, ding. I was like, aha, uh-huh, okay. Well, I was not going to get that one right. Um, <laughs> exactly 34 yeah, years. Yeah. So, but I started doing like prison math in my head. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, two to five. You was out here stealing some stuff, you know? <laughs> 34. I was like, you was out here murdering people, right? I was like, Auntie, what did he do? And she was like, he was out here murdering people. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, wow, we are very excited about this person coming to my grandma's house who has murdered people. Like, we, mm-hmm. are, I think we should tone that down a little bit, right? Yeah. And and this is, like, I didn't investigate the case. I don't know any of the details of any of the thing. But I know without a shadow of a doubt, he did it. Uh, he, he did the murders. <laughs> he did the murders. He did the murder. He did the murders. Or did murders. It. I don't look, but here's how I know. Yeah. If you know anything about black people and our involvement with the criminal justice system, you know that if there's a side of a doubt that we didn't do what they said we did, mm-hmm. you're going to see their face on a T-shirt and it's going to say free whatever their name is. <laughs> yeah. And I ain't <laughs> never seen his face on no T-shirt <laughs> in 34 years. So I know my family was like, ah, he might have did that. <laughs> and we <laughs> and we just kind of like didn't talk about it, you know? I'm just like, yeah. yeah. And so I just <laughs> met a new cousin as I'm grieving my grandmother. And I, he, you know, but he's a, a lovely person. He followed me on Instagram immediately. He comments. <laughs> On every post that I do, um, and he's he's very supportive. He's Honestly, like the biggest fan. If my family's watching, more supportive than anybody in my family has ever been, yeah. ever been in my comedy career. Every post I put about a show, he's like, "Congratulations, cuz I see you follow your dreams." And I'm keep just killing like, it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it was right there. <laughs> yeah. He's making up for 34 years of yeah. lost time. He doesn't know he remembers my name. We met one time, and now he's just like, I follow you on Instagram, and I'm going to support you via Instagram. So, mm. yeah, my greatest support in life will murder you. <laughs> so, if you don't, if you don't, if you come, don't support, watch don't out. Support, yeah, I, I was, yeah, I got I killed. I got an support. army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It does I feel like that kind of drama makes for a good TV show? Yeah, mm. like Jerry Springer or like an Oprah situation. Mm. Yes. Oprah, yeah. So we yeah. heard, we heard you've met, we've, we've heard, we've, met our, you've met a queen. You've met I my have queen. Met a queen. Yeah. This, um, I met Oprah, <laughs> and the thing is, this is for all kids out there. I manifest the meeting years before I ever met her. Great, we love this. I energy. remember telling my mom, and probably I think her show got uh, ended in like 2010, 11, mm-hmm. somewhere around. There, I forget. I think I was still in school. Yeah. I remember telling my mom, I don't know where it came from. I was like, I'm gonna meet Oprah, and I said, when I meet her, I'm gonna ask her about this particular author. Okay. I vividly remember that. Right. So mm-hmm. cut to 2018. Uh, I'm on a show on Oprah's network called Love Is. It was very mm-hmm. popular. It was written by Mara, Mara Brock Akil, who wrote like the game and uh, girlfriends mm, yeah. like she's like royalty right yeah and so they were like hey uh do y'all want to come to the you know the screen in the red carpet out in la uh i was like yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, quick yes. absolutely yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah but they were like cool you got to pay for it we're not gonna help you get here but we'll let you, we'll put you on the list i'll find a way i was like that's all i need yeah so uh myself and other people kind of had the same role already there yeah we we booked a we booked airbnb we took i remember taking an uber to the red carpet and then they let us off like across the street <laughs> and i had to like walk across the street and they'd be like i'm supposed to be here and they're like are you the guys from the street like you know <laughs> humble humble yeah, yeah it was very but so i, I remember getting on a red carpet and then she like appeared right 
And my first mm-hmm. thought was, and I, I'm just like, you know, whenever you guys meet Oprah, yeah. Yeah. your first words will be, oh, shit, it's Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you greet her any other way, you're not a real person. Because yeah, I go, yeah. oh, shit, it's Oprah. I, I plan on just busting into tears. Yeah. yeah I. But maybe I'll just, maybe I'll be like, oh, shit, it's yeah. Oprah. <laughs> some, for, some version of, oh, shit, it's Oprah yeah. is yeah. going to come out of your mouth, yeah. right? So she comes on the red carpet. And I'm thinking, like, oh, it's my time to get on the red carpet. And they're mm-hmm. like, you're not famous enough. <laughs> back up. <laughs> and I was like, understood. So I backed up. <laughs> and then. <laughs> when it was my time, she was still on the carpet. And there's somewhere I saw there's a YouTube video of me doing this where like they were I'm supposed to take a picture and just keep moving. Uh-huh. I just linger behind Oprah. <laughs> I have to find we have I to just find like kind of like linger and I can hear a dude say, keep moving. And I kept going, huh? <laughs> As if I did not hear. I heard everything he said. <laughs> but I was like, I'm whiffing in a billion dollars. Like yeah. I'm getting this openness into my system, right? But I didn't get to talk to her. I just was kind of like this moment, right? Absorbing her aura. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. we premiered the show and she leaves. And I'm like, oh, I don't get my moment, right? Mm-hmm. So they're like, all right, rooftop party at this. So it, wherever it was, like right across the street from like the Netflix building. I remember mm-hmm. the yeah. Netflix building, right? So there's a rooftop party. Then all of a sudden I see everybody like swarm this one area because she didn't leave. She was still there, <gasps> right? And so I have no agent, no manager, no, but nothing like that. Yeah. So my friends who had that, they're like getting their a- major agents and managers like, hey, Oprah, like, can you get a picture? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I got to make this happen myself. Right. So I go up and I, before I could say anything, she sees me and she goes, I know you. <laughs> and I go, get the fuck out of here. Like, I was like, you're <laughs> lying. You're lying to me. She's like, I know you. And I was like, oh, snap. And I was like, can I, can I take a picture? Right. And she was like, of course. But I said before. I take this picture. Can I ask you a question? And she was like, pop quiz. Like it was like, <laughs> she didn't say that, but her face yeah. was just like, who are you? Right. Yeah. And I go, Miss Winfrey, I manifest this moment years ago. I said, when I, when I meet you, I was going to ask you, do you read this artist named Howard Thurman? He was a philosopher, a mis- mm-hmm. mystic. He was like Martin Luther King's mentor. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I said, do you read Howard Thurman? And if you do, what's your favorite book? And she looked at me and she was like, I absolutely read Howard Thurman. Oh. Right. And I go, what's your favorite book? And she kind of looked like, all right, no question. But I was like, can I can I guess? And she was like, sure. And I said the book and she goes, that is my favorite of his. Right. Yeah. And we started talking about this book and you could just see people around like, who is this dude? Just (laughs) Just like chatting chatting up Oprah Oprah, all the time with an angel. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm just like talking to her and like that. We having this moment about this book and what it means to our lives and all this other stuff. Right. And then I realized that, like, so she left. She's like, all right, took a picture. She left. And she goes, she, like, I realized I didn't, like, say my name. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my, Miss Murphy, I forgot. I was like, my name is David Perdue. And then she goes, yeah, I know you. You're nothing like that senator. And I was like, oh, you <gasps> do know my name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's like, incredible. Yeah. And I remember, like, I remember this is, this is why I don't need fame, right? Or any kind of good things to happen to me. Because yeah. I was so belligerent on that rooftop after that. <laughs> I was walking around to strangers, literally going, you can't tell me shit. You can't tell me shit. And people were like, I don't know you to tell you shit. And I was just pointing at people oh. and telling them that they couldn't tell me shit because Oprah not only knew my name, but we shared like a favorite book. I feel like and we need to talk a bit like, about we... you. Yeah, yeah. No. yes, yes. There's still some Oprah wow. here. Yeah. There's still some Oprah here. It, it never leaves you. you no. know? Yeah. Uh, and then we, we had tequila shots. You and Oprah? Oprah and everybody. I want to be. I want to. I don't want to sell this, but it was me, Oprah, and everybody on the roof. But like tequila is her like thing. Uh, yeah, and I it was the best Instagram tequila recently. I've ever had yeah. in my life. I don't know what it was, but I knew I needed it. She could have given you gasoline oil though that night. And I would have drunk it happily. Yeah, I would have. Would been like, I would have been like best night of my life. <laughs> it, honestly, yeah. And then me and all my, the cast members, we just were like crying afterwards. Oh, we were what just of like, course. Yeah, we were just like we played it cool, and then when like we had a moment, we were like. <laughs> <laughs> it was over <laughs> like while calling our moms who were like sleep because it's like 2 a.m back there we're like mom we met oprah it's crazy yeah Jeez. yeah it was a moment you yeah. know that same cry that you had for your grandma I did. Like, yeah. I, no i was like no you can see these tears these are oprah tears these i was are, ready yeah, yeah. flow tears the tear are... ducts open up for oprah yeah oh, truly truly open up for oprah. oh my gosh that yeah. is quite a blast greatest greatest mo- this is how that. dope the moment was i always tell people that trip to l.a I met Wanda Sykes and ran into Chadwick Boseman and none of that mattered. <laughs> that's funny. Like, that's how, yes. you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, how yeah. I was just like, Honestly, I, I randomly. No saw, shade, though. No shade. No, Wanda Sykes and is also, a beautiful human being. rest in being. peace. Yeah, mm-hmm. rest in like, mm-hmm. peace. But it was like, if those moments happened by themselves, they'd be the yeah. craziest moments totally. of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just so happened to be the weekend that I like had a conversation with Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. 
that I was just like, oh, that's the greatest moment of my life to date. Done. Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, since Oprah knows you, I bet you sh- her and your cousin are now your biggest fans. I bet you I she goes two. on your Facebook. I've waited her to like an Instagram picture. Oprah, yeah. if you're on, and I know you're active on Instagram, just like one, just, just check in. Just one. Maybe like one of these clips. Like these like, clips. Like, yeah, yeah, like one of these, Oprah. Yes. We'll tag um, you. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just, tagging. I'm actually gonna tag Oprah. And everything. You probably should, but then she'll be like another one because I've been. I was tagging her for years. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "You see me? You still see me?" Uh, no, but yeah, it was a good oh, time. Not that David Perdue. Yes, yeah, that was uh, crazy. Oh, that's so good. I yeah. wonder how she saw. She must have seen your name on a list. Well, she and I, been she's alerted like, to it. Been like, she's very active. One? They say she's very active in like the process or anything that's on mm-hmm. her network. So like. Yeah. When I got one, and I got cast, and I was on like like eight episodes, so like yeah. I was. Kinda, oh, so they're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, That's so funny. I guess she was like, oh, yeah, I see your face. When the own network was bought by Hearst, um, because I worked at Hearst Digital Media yeah. in the Hearst Building in New York, mm-hmm. like she knew a lot of the people that like were working on specific projects. Oh. But, like yeah. she was like really in the weeds. Yeah, like, she's a hands on. She's. Yeah, I can't. We love her. We yeah. love her. I thought she was lying to me. I was like, "Who told you to do this? this is a trick? She's <laughs> like, a you lie. guys are tricked." And then like, "Why would Oprah lie?" Yeah, and you're like, "You're right. She wouldn't. She's yeah. an angel. Yeah, I love exactly. her so much." I was like, "My I bad. Her. I slapped myself on the hand. My bad, Oprah. Yeah. I accused you of lying. I love you so much. Yeah. Oh, I love Oprah so much. <laughs> Speaking of people that we love so much, we've reached the part of the podcast where we ask our hot comic to name a comic hottie, which is somebody that's younger than you in comedy years that you would like to give a shout out to. Okay, this is gonna. I'm. I'm gonna shout out this person, but mm-hmm. they're not gonna need it, and they're gonna be the one of the best. In yeah. the world. I'm a big fan mm-hmm. of this person. We it's agree. Shonic God Kindy. We, we love, love Shonic. I love him so much. He's, I'm gonna publicly say because I DM this all the time. Yeah. I'm like Shonic, you're my favorite. He's <laughs> like he's if a I have to pick comedy so kids, much. yeah. I tell him I tell him don't tell people, but here I'm doing it on Hot Comic. comic. <laughs> Shonic, you're my favorite. Uh, I just love you so much. I think you're we brilliant love. and you're always fun. He's so, yeah. always so fun. Yes. Yes. He's just a brilliant. Great, great person. Yes. Great. Also does worker. great accents. Great accents. Yes. Great accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fahim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen oh, him honey. live, please go see him. Please God, go support him. Yeah. Oh, David, this has been Such a pleasure. Y'all are, y'all are, I call y'all are my friends now. You're my no, best we're friends. friends. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we're yeah. in this together. I love everything that you all, y'all do. We should place, if we, I wasn't going to get sued, I would play Saweetie's best friend right now yes. uh, on our way out. Yes. But, you know. Yeah. We can just like hum it. Can we hum yeah. it and not get sued? Yeah. Try to sue us now, sweetie. <laughs> and on that, love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, <laughs> I just feel so regal after that. I feel regal. <laughs> I feel like I have been in the presence of Oprah. And yeah. I look, I you know now I feel like I'm closer to manifesting my Oprah mm-hmm. moment. And I love how we started uh, with a queen and ended with a queen. We o- queens only. Yeah. Is what it's all about. David yeah. Perdue. God. Uh, the, and what a king. Oh, He's a king. Yes. Mm. King David Perdue. Uh, again, not that one. Yeah. Uh, so you can check David out mostly on Instagram. Yep. Uh, it's called Do or Die. Yeah, and you can check out his podcast, Fourth and Ten. Um, Which you mentioned with another hot comic, uh, yeah. David uh, Damon. Damon. Damon Sumner. David. I'm gonna get them all mixed up. It's Damon Sumner. There's a lot of 100. D names in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah all the big D's. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and but his also, comedy hottie. And his comedy hottie. Shonic got candy. God, we love. Uh, we love you, you Shonic. We love Shonic. Yeah, and and to David's point, Shonic is like, he's gonna pop. Oh, Shonic is. He's incredible. Shonic's a star. We've had if him I, on I our shows. Nickel, if I had a nickel for every time Mandel said Shonic's a star, <laughs> he's, it's a. I would have at lot. least twenty five cents. And guys, we have uh, new merch coming soon. Oh yeah, we have new merch coming soon. Uh, you might have gotten a sneak peek of it with mm-hmm. my coffee cup. Uh, I'm wearing. I'm currently wearing some of our merch that is available on the on the website. If you are interested in getting some swag, yeah. looking all fire like this, just supporting your favorite comedy podcast. Yeah, yeah. Holler, and you'll look hot in it. And you know, we'll give you a, a hint, but we're going to be serving up the hottest comments in atlanta we already are serving well that's true comics, but we're gonna like have a, a have another moment yeah we love a good a brief, moment with a with an upgrade to the brand yeah that you can look forward to and also can we say like don't you want to be the first to get the og design 
This isn't the OG design. That's true. There was this one This is the before. second design. This is like the the better though. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like um. This is good. This is a, this is a good. We're gonna, we're gonna have all the designs available because you know. Why stunt our growth? Um, yeah, I don't want to limit us. But no, um, thank you so much for listening. Yeah. I, we hope you love David as much as we do. He's touring all over the country yeah. uh, all the time. Uh, and we love him. We just, we really do love him. There's nothing more to say. Other than I'm Lysandra Vasquez. And I'm Brandy Unger. Catch you next time. Love you. Bye.